fast approaching the time for riders to be on high alert, especially depending on what part of the country or world that you live in. The months of October, November, and December are the annual rut season for deer. During this time, deer are much more active, and it's the time of the year that collisions with riders increase out on the road. During the rut months, deer become much more active, and their daytime movement increases as well. During other times of the year, deer are mostly active during the early morning hours, during sunrise, and then again in the evening up until around midnight. But during rut season, it's not uncommon to see deer active at all parts of the day, increasing the likelihood that we would encounter one on the road. So I thought now would be a good time to talk about deer strikes on motorcycles and some things that we can do to protect ourselves. The first and biggest tip I have for you is to wear your riding gear. Yeah, you're lucky you didn't get uh, badly injured. I'm lucky I wore all my gear. Yeah. During rut season is not the time to leave the helmet at home or to strap it to the back of your motorcycle. You also don't have that excuse that it's too hot because during rut season temperatures are starting to drop so your only excuse is your stubbornness. My word of advice is to wear the amount of gear that you'd want to have on while you're sliding down the road. If you want to crash wearing a baseball cap, shorts, and a t-shirt, that's your business but I know I would want a little more protection. We've all seen this yellow deer crossing sign. You know, those signs are in those particular spots on the road for a reason. It doesn't mean you can't encounter deer at other locations, but when you see this sign, it means that this is a known location for a high traffic of deer. Perhaps there are feeding grounds nearby or it's a path to water for the deer but the sign is there because it's a known location for deer strikes. So be extra alert when you see these signs. Like I said earlier, deer during rut season can be on the move at any time of day, but they're most active in the early morning hours from sunset and a few hours after. And I have a few roads near me that have the deer crossing sign. So seeing this sign, knowing what time of year they are most active and what time of day they are most active, causes some changes to my riding style. We need to all understand that there are increased risks of riding a motorcycle. Our job as riders is to understand the risks and then actively do what is under our control to decrease those risks. Those start by adjusting your speed. You know, one thing that we can do is reduce our speeds in known deer locations during rut season and especially during the times of day when the deer are most active, early morning to sunset to midnight. Most of the riders in these videos of deer strikes have one thing in common, excessive speed. You know, the road is not a racetrack where we have a clear line of sight, traffic all moving in one direction, or wildlife walking onto the track. That rarely happens on track situations. Riding at a reasonable speed, especially at high-risk areas and high-risk times, is our first step to avoiding a collision. You can also use your lane position to your advantage. Notice that in many of these deer strike scenarios, there's a lot of trees or brush near the road. If we ride closer to the center line, it may give us a little more time to react to deer coming out of the brush and into the road. And the closer you are to the brush, the less reaction time you've got, and it decreases your visibility to what's coming from the side of the road. Riding in an area at sunset while passing a deer crossing sign is not the time to be messing with your GoPro, your cell phone, or anything else for that matter. Like there's a good time to do that while you're moving down the road anyway. 
but those areas should be treated more like intersections with a rider who's scanning the road ahead, ready to take action if needed. Deer traveling groups, if you see a deer, any deer, either near the road or 30 feet off to the side of the road, slow down. It's your first sign to slow down because there are more deer likely to be in the area. And while you're focused on that deer that's standing over on the side of the road, the rest of the deer may be about ready to cross the road. As a general rule, if you see a deer, slow down even more because there are more deer in that immediate area. Over the years, deer have learned to avoid prey by running in a zigzag pattern. They avoid the wolf by running quickly in one direction and then changing directions often. So don't be surprised if a deer crosses the road and then darts back in front of you in its attempt to escape. It may seem illogical to you, but it helps the deer get away from the wolf. Doesn't work so well getting away from a motorcycle though. Anytime we slow down on a motorcycle, it should be our practice to check our mirror to see what's coming up behind us. That is any time under every condition, we should be in the practice of checking what's behind us anytime we slow down. It's much more important if we're significantly slowing down on the highway where cars are not expecting us to slow down. So check your mirror, see what's happening behind you, and make a plan of escape if needed. It's better to run off the road after you slow down at 15 miles per hour because a car is coming up behind you than to be rear-ended by a car going 60 miles per hour. So the prospect of hitting a deer is a scary proposition on a motorcycle. They're unpredictable. And as you've seen in many of these videos, we have very little time to avoid them. Often our best defense is what we do before we encounter the deer. That adjusts the odds a little more in our direction. This starts with wearing your gear, checking your speed, adjusting your lane position to the environment, and being aware of the environment and the time of day that we're riding in it. These tips don't offer you any guarantees in life, but they will give you a significant advantage over many of the riders that we've seen in today's video. Deer are often an unpredictable equation when it comes to riding a motorcycle, but if we fail to do what is in our power to adjust the odds of a deer strike, all we're left with is excuses. Till next week, guys, this is Ken with MC Rider, and I'll see you on the road. Hey, if you like this video, check this one out. I got over 300 to choose from.